Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone to our molecular biology ACV preparation series. The MCQs we'll discuss today and in the upcoming session have been carefully collected from several years of past exams to give you the best preparation possible. I'm Dr. Lai Abdul Ati and I'm really excited to share my knowledge and experiences with all of you through this series. So let's dive in together. In our previous lectures, we completed the multiple choice questions related to the nucleic acid chemistry and basic molecular theory. Today, we'll move to the cover the second part of biochemical reagents into an exonuclease enzymes. All right. All right. Now, let's focus on the question related to the endo and exonuclease enzymes and review the molecular biology ACB questions from the previous exams. Okay. The first question we have today: Which of the followings lacks three prime to five prime exonuclease activity? Which one of them? The correct answer is tag DNA polymerase. Actually, tag DNA polymerase lacks proofreading, three prime to five prime exonuclease activity. Let's move on. All right, this next question: Which enzyme remove RNA primers during DNA replication? The correct answer is DNA polymerase 1. Actually, DNA polymerase 1 has 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity. So, this allowing it to remove RNA primers and replace them with the DNA. Okay, let's move on. All right, the next question. Which exonuclease activity is responsible for proofreading in DNA replication? The correct answer is 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease. The 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity allows DNA polymerases to remove incorrectly bare nucleotide, ensuring high fidelity in replication. All right, let's move on. All right, the next question Which enzyme has both endonuclease and exonuclease activity? Which one of them? Let's focus. The correct answer is DNA polymerase 1. Actually, DNA polymerase 1 has the 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity, I mean removing RNA primers, and 3 prime to 5 prime exonuclease activity, I mean proofreading. Additionally, it has endonuclease activity that enable it to make internal cuts in the DNA strand when needed for repair, helping maintain genome stability. All right, let's move on. All right, let's see the next question. Which of the following exonucleases specifically degrades double strand DNA from the three prime end? Let's focus. The correct answer is exonuclease three. Exonuclease 3 selectively removes nucleotides from the 3' prime end of the double strand DNA, so making it useful for DNA sequencing and repair studies. All right, let's move on. Okay, the next question here. What is the function of DNA's 1? Focus, focus, focus. Actually, DNA is one is the endonuclease that randomly cleave DNA, so make it useful for DNA degradation and sample preparation. So the correct answer here is cleave DNA then specifically into small fragments. All right, let's move on. Okay, next question: Which enzyme cut DNA only at palindromic sequences?
The correct answer is restriction in the nucleus. All right. This restriction in the nucleases recognize specific palindromic sequences in a DNA and make precise cut, which is the critical in cloning and genetic engineering. All right. All right. The next question here: Which of the following nucleases removes nucleotides from the five prime end of DNA? All right, the correct answer is exonuclease 7, okay? Exonuclease 7 selectively degrades DNA from the five prime end. In contrast, you need to focus. In contrast, exonuclease 3 degrades from the three ends. All right, let's move on. All right, next question. Which endonuclease is commonly used in recombinant DNA technology? The correct answer is echo R1. Echo R1 is a restriction in the nucleus that recognizes specific nuclear sequence in a DNA, which is GAA TTC sequence, as we see in the image. Okay, so this recognition of this sequence is the crucial because it determines where the echo R1 will cut the DNA molecule. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's see the next question here. What is the main function of exonucleases in DNA repair? All right, the correct answer is removing damage or mismatched nucleotides. All right, let's move on. All right, let's see the next question here. Which enzyme is responsible for cutting the RNA strand in RNA-DNA hybrid? Which one of them? Let's see the correct answer. The correct answer is RNAs H. RNAs H selectively removes the RNA strand from the RNA DNA hybrid, allowing for proper DNA replication and repair. All right, let's move on. All right, next question. Which DNA polymerase has the post five prime to three prime and three prime to five prime exonuclease activities? All right, the correct answer is DNA polymerase 1. Okay, let's move on. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest lecture. Okay, from here, just press, 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 press. Let's continue. All right, which type of DNA fragments are created by echo R1 digestion? The correct answer is the sticky ends. Actually, echo R1 cut DNA in a staggered manner. What does it mean? This means when it recognizes it is specific sequence, it doesn't cut straight across the four strand of DNA at the same point. Instead, it creates event cut, resulting in what are known as the sticky ends, okay? As we see in the image here. Okay, let's see the next question here. What is the role of exonucleases in mismatch repair? All right, the correct answer is removing incorrect nucleotides. All right, let's move on. Okay, let's see the question here. What is the key difference? between type 1 and type 2 restriction enzymes.
Actually, we consider type 2 restriction enzymes are important tools in molecular biology because they cut DNA at specific sequences. This makes them precise and predictable. All right? In contrast, type 1 restriction enzymes cut DNA at random positions. So make their cleavage pattern more complex and less useful for precise genetic work. All right? Let's move on. All right, the next question. Which enzyme is responsible for generating double strand breaks in DNA during homologous recombination? The correct answer is endonuclease. All right. Actually, endonucleases make internal cuts in DNA. So this is important for homologous recombination, a process that helps cell exchange genetic material and repair damaged DNA. Okay, so the correct answer here is endonuclease. Let's move on. Okay, next question. Which enzyme is crucial in removing damaged pyrimidines from DNA? The correct answer is endonuclease 4. Endonuclease 4 is involved in base excision repair, helping remove damaged pyrimidines and maintaining genomic stability. All right. All right. The next question: Which endonuclease is used in the detection of mismatched DNA base pairs? Correct answer is T7 endonuclease 1. Actually, T7 endonuclease 1 is used to detect and cleave mismatched DNA base pairs, making it useful in mutation detection. All right, let's move on. Okay, the next question. Which exonuclease is involved in non-homologous end joining during DNA repair? Okay, the correct answer is Artemis nuclease. Artemis nuclease plays a key role in non-homologous end joining by modifying DNA end, okay? Making them suitable for joining together. This help repair DNA breaks, especially in process like immune system development. All right, let's move on. Which exonuclease is used to degrade only single strand DNA? The correct answer is exonuclease 1. Exonuclease 1 specifically degrades single strand DNA in a 3' prime to 5' prime direction. Okay, let's move on. The question here is what is the primary rule of exonucleases in apoptosis? The correct answer is degrading chromosomal DNA into fragments, okay? Actual exonucleases play a crucial role in DNA fragmentation, which is the important step in programmed cell death, okay? This helps the cell break down and remove it is the DNA during self-destruction, okay? Let's move on. Okay, next question. Which enzyme is essential for generating sticky ends during cloning. All right, the correct answer is restriction endonuclease. Okay, this restriction endonuclease cut specific DNA sequence producing sticky ends that facilitate DNA ligation in cloning process. Okay, let's move on. All right, next question. 
which enzyme plays a role in repairing DNA double strand breaks through the homologous recombination? The correct answer is RIC BCD exonuclease. Actually, RIC BCD is enzyme complex in E. coli that helps repair damaged DNA through the homologous recombination. Okay, so it consists of three subunits as we see RIC B, RIC C, and RIC D. Okay, so together, these subunits enable the cells to repair double strand DNA breaks efficiently. All right, let's move. Okay, the next question. Which exonuclease is primarily involved in ligand strand DNA synthesis? The correct answer is DNA polymerase 1. As I said, DNA polymerase 1 has 5 prime to 3 prime exonuclease activity, allowing it to remove RNA primers and replace them with the DNA or lagging strands. Okay, let's move on. Okay, next question. Which characteristic best describes a palindromic sequence recognized by restriction enzymes? Actually, palindromic sequences are unique DNA sequences that are identical when read from 5 prime to 3 prime on, on one strand and 5 prime to 3 prime on the complementary strand. This characteristic allows restriction enzyme to recognize and cut at this specific size. For example, this sequence, as we see in the image here, started from 5 prime GAA TTC 3 prime. On that one strand is paired with what? Is paired with the three prime C T T A A G five prime, right? On the complementary strand. This this sequence together forming a palindrome. Okay. So the correct answer here is our, the best describe of palindromic sequence is a sequence that read the same forward and backward on the complementary strands. All right. All right, that's all for today. Please don't forget to like, comment. If you have any questions, share and subscribe to our channel to receive all the latest lecture. I also encourage everyone taking the test to share your questions with us so that everyone can benefit. All right, that's all. Salam.